undertone in our city that um, was hard for me to ignore. Uh, we have seen over the last couple years, or not seen, our mayor. And what I have come to realize is that so much of the mayor's time has been spent in Washington, D.C. And that evolved into where we are today and no matter what, it, as a mayor, as a leader, everyone who is under you and their actions stop with you. It is your responsibility. You are fully accountable for the actions of your people. And for anyone to say, you know, not my fault, not my fault, I say, you know what? You were gone. You should have been here. You should have been leading. You should have been directing. You should have been managing this whole situation. That kind of ownership is what leadership is about. So I work for the sheriff. I've been there for eight years. And one of the first projects the sheriff asked me to do was, let's get our processes streamlined. We need to make it easier for our employees to do their jobs, do it efficiently and effectively. We need to save money. And then we also need to make sure the people in the community can navigate our system easier. So we did that, and we saved our taxpayers $14 million doing it. And we have a very efficient, effective process. We are on our fourth economic development director since Ralph took office. And we have lost multiple players underneath that person and that leadership team throughout the years. You cannot build a strong economy if you don't have the right leadership and you don't have the right team. We have been in a situation, I think, that has created a more divisive community than we've ever seen. You see all these bike paths on the east side of the freeway. There is one on the west side. We have bus service on the east side of this freeway. There is hardly any on the west side. In fact, most people over there who work have to either get up at 4.30 in the morning and ride their bike or walk to make sure they can get to work on time and to make sure they can get back home because the few buses that are running over there leave too late and come back too early. So the service is just outrageous. And we have done nothing about it, nothing. We have to integrate this community. There is no east-west side. We are Salt Lake City, all of us. For me, what this is about is about being very conscientious about tax dollars. It's being very conscientious about how we operate as a government to make sure that we are building a strong enough economy to pay for the expense of having such a great city, but also make sure we are moving in a very green and sustainable way, and we will continue down that road. And if I have to take UTA on for bus service on the west side, I will do it. And 
if I have to take on Rocky Mountain Power, because some people in this community think they should have solar, and they think you shouldn't, I will take them on. So thank you for being here. And if anyone has questions, please come find me. I'm happy to answer those. I don't want to spend the whole night talking, but thank you for coming out. Please support me. I want to win this race. I want to help you, and I want to lead in a way that you will be proud. So thank you. This is a song that several of us up here wrote. Um, I took the lead. Jordan improved it dramatically. Joel and Rob improved it even beyond that. So this is, uh, this is an original. <laughs> 